now let's see this example represent the facts or statements as well formed formulas in predicate logic so totally nine statements are given these statements can also be called as facts now we have to represent these statements as well formed formulas by using with predicate logic so first statement marcus was a man here the predicate is man man of marcus is the object so man of marcus next one marcus was a pompian here the predicate is pompian so pompian of object is marcus so if the sentence contains was is then we have to represent like this only next one marcus was born in 40 ad here the predicate is born so born of various objects are marcus comma 40 so we can write this as born of the predicate is born so first variable is marcus second variable is 40 ad is not added marcus was born in 40 ad next one all men are mortal all means we have to use for all quantifier universal quantifier so for all x x is the variable so for all x all men are mortal so for men so man of x all men are if the sentence contains all then we have to use implication operator whereas if the sentence contains someone then we have to use and operator so here the sentence contains all so or means we have to use implication operator so if there are 10 people then all the 10 people are mortal whereas if the sentence contains some some men are mortal then we have to use and operator so out of 10 people only some people are mortal okay here we have or so or means implication why because here the sentence contains all word all men are mortal so mortal of what is the variable x all men are mortal next one all pompians dead when the volcano erupted in 79 ad so when the pompians died when the volcano erupted in 79 ad so here the predicate is erupted first variable is volcano second variable is 79 so first let us write that erupted of volcano comma 79 so when the volcano erupted in 79 and and when this condition is true then only we can say that all the pompians are dead so all means we have to use universal quantifier for all x so whenever this condition is satisfied then only all pompians are dead so we have to use and all pompians are dead so for pompians pompian of x pompian of x all pompians died so if the sentence contains all then we have to use implication operator so implication all pompians died so when the pompians died so in order to represent the pompian we have x x so pompian died in which year 79 79 so all pompians died that pompian x the pompian died in 79 now let us see the statement no mortal lives longer than 150 years no mortal lives longer than 150 years so that means if a person lives longer than 150 years then we can say that that person is dead so here in order to represent that person 
we are using x next we are using two more variables such as t1 and t2 so t1 means born time let that person born at 2000 year next that person dead at 2020 2200 so now let us see here so here that in order to represent that person we are using x variable mortal of x x is a mortal and x born in which year here born is the predicate x born in t1 x born in t1 x is a mortal if this age difference is greater than 150 then we can say that that person is dead in order to calculate the age difference here we need to calculate t2 minus t1 here use gt gt stands for greater than if t2 minus t1 comma 150 so here what is t2 2200 what is t1 2000 2200 minus 2000 means 200 200 is greater than 150 yes condition is true that means that person lives longer than 150 years so we can say that implies we can say that that person is x is died, dead in, in which year t2 so that person born in time t1 if that uh, if if he lives longer than 150 years then we can say that that person x dead in time t2 next it is now 1991 so we can represent this as now equal to 1991 it is now 1991 so here 1991 is not predicate so this is nothing but an assignment statement now we equal to 1991 now let's see the next one alive means dead so for all that person in order to represent that person we are using x next let us assume that the, that person died in the year t then we can say that if x is alive at a time t then we can say that that person is not dead not dead at a time t if x is alive at a time t then we can say that that person is not dead at a time t and and if x is not dead at a time t then we can say that that person is alive at a time t so both are same only both are same only now let's see the last one if someone dies then he is died at all times if someone dies if a person dies at a time t1 then we can say that that person is died at all the times at a t2 time at a t3 time that person is dead so here in order to represent that person we are using x next let that person died at time t1 then we can say that that person died at all times in order to represent that time we are using t2 here that person dies at time t1 so dead or dead of x comma t1 let t1 equal to 2000 if a person dies at 2000 then we can say that that person dies at another time also it may be 2000 or 2000 i'm sorry it may be 2001 2002 greater than 2000 2010 2020 so here also we have to use greater than only if t2 is greater than t1 then we can say that that person is dead for all times for all times dead of x comma for remaining time we are using t2 so likewise we can easily represent the statements or facts as well formed formulas with the help of predicate logic in the next video, we will see uh, some more examples for representing the statements as well-formed formulas. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends. Thanks for watching.